Tucker TV6, the internet can make everyone feel like an expert, but when it comes to your health, it's best to let the medical professionals do the talking. Good morning, Indiana anchor Beth Bond went to IU Health West to debunk six cancer myths for RTV6. As soon as Vicki Haas knew she had breast cancer, the unsolicited advice and misguided knowledge started to roll in. There were a few people that were trying to tell me, oh, don't do the chemo because it's poison in your body. She didn't listen. Instead, she trusted her doctors at IU Health West. That's a good thing, according to radiation oncologist Gordon Watson, especially in the digital age. There's many sites on the Internet that are very bad. There's many sites that are very good, and you need to have um, insight into which those are. We want to arm you with the knowledge you need to sort right from wrong, starting with the idea that cancer is a modern man-made disease. Even in the days of the cavemen, cancer existed. Men died of it. Women died of it. It's been with us as long as we've been around. Cancer isn't new, but he does say environmental factors have increased the rate in which cancer occurs. What about superfoods like leafy greens and berries? Can they fight off cancer? They certainly don't cure cancers. Once you've got cancer, superfoods um, aren't anything that's going to change the course of it. Being healthy in general is probably your best bet. So superfoods won't cure cancer, but what about sugar? We've heard cancer has a sweet tooth. That's a common misconception. Cancer uses sugar in the same way as your brain. So if you want to starve your cancer of sugar, Theoretically, you're starving your brain of sugar, too. Bottom line, Watson says, your cancer will get what it needs to grow if it's not treated. In fact, when he had cancer several years ago, he admits he did not skimp on the treats. Uh, I had extra ice cream sundaes to, to reward myself. <laughs> Online, it looks like some people believe cancer is a fungus. Any truth to that? Fungus may pop up in cancer research, but it's not part of the cancer itself. Oftentimes, fungus will grow out in these cultures, hmm. and that's actually a contaminant. It's not from the cancer cells, but that's where that, that myth arose from. And what about patients like Vicki, who hear treatment kills more than it cures? To avoid treatment because of the perception that it's going to be worse than the cancer is a um, uh, very harmful myth. And finally, if cancer is in your genes, there's nothing you can do to prevent it. Nope, that couldn't be further from the truth. Watson says you'll likely be screened more closely and more often. If you find cancer early, you cure it. If you find cancer late, you don't. So before you draw any conclusions, ask your doctor. I feel good today. And ask Vicki. She's been cancer-free for two years. Uh, Beth Vaughn, RTV6.